Hello everyone, and welcome back to the next episode of my exciting run through Tomb Raider 2013 Reboot. Um, yeah. So today we're making our way all the way through the shanty town, and there's probably going to be a lot more sort of like faffing around and looking for um, sort of extras and stuff, because there's loads of those in shanty town, so it's a good place to really sort of beef up your XP and your skills and your salvage. Yep. Should have seen that coming. I cannot believe I made that shot. No way. Okay, he's coming in. Ooh! And there's a guy with... Take off the top of his head, and I think... That's everyone. Oh, for God's sake. When are you going to learn that this is... Ooh. I think I just unlocked an achievement. She's a good shot. Yes, she is. <laughs> she can also see the barrels that you're standing next to, you idiot. So I don't think I want to go too far down this way because... Um, they throw you into another gunfight if you keep going this way. But I do want to salvage from their bodies. So, back we go. <laughs> Didn't expect to get into that gunfight quite so early, but okay. So this is the way that I've already come, obviously. So I don't need to go too much further this way. I do, however, seem to recall... Is there something... Nope. Clearly just my imagination. So, um, yeah, that's obviously where I've been. So I don't want to go back. Do I want to go back down there? I think I'm just going to actually jump over here yeah. and climb up here instead. Um, yeah, in general, being higher equals better in Tomb Raider. Ah, so obviously, yes. Um, when I first came through here, I couldn't get that because it was too high up. Now, I can get it because I have fire arrows, which are incredibly useful, mostly... F like I say, they're not really as useful as the game tries to make out in combat or anything, but they are very useful when you're uh, searching for clues and extras and things like that. To me, it's kind of like the shotgun, just because I personally don't use the shotgun too much. Like, I prefer the rifle and the pistol. Um, and now I'm on the other side of the fence, which that seems a bit too easy for me. Anything that's convenient in this game just immediately makes me suspicious. This game is not supposed to be convenient, it's Tomb Raider. I'd just like to take a moment to bask in the stupidity of what I just tried to do. Why do I feel like I'm about to get ambushed? Ooh, journal. This is a right fucking mess. <laughs> Grim. I like Grim. His character was just... It's that sort of... It's the way that they used these stock stereotype type of characters and, and did genuinely, I think at least, manage to do something a bit new with them. You know, so... Grim is the Scottish one. He's old, he's cantankerous, he's... You know, he tells wild, outrageous stories about the Loch Ness Monster. But, at the same time, he outright says to Sam that he doesn't drink alcohol. His reasoning being the Loch Ness Monster story, for sure. But he doesn't drink alcohol now, so he's already subverted that stereotype. And although he's sort of grim and cantankerous, he's actually like... It's almost like he knows that he's he's that sort of a guy and so he plays it up a bit like he's the fun grim and tank cantankerous sort um and so you know they just all the characters aside from alex who is just such a stereotype all the characters kind of play off they play off your expectations of what they're meant to be but they all have these little subversive character details that don't quite fit and that makes them much more human to me at least I probably bang on about like the characters and the story and obviously how much I love this game way too much, but um ooh, there's a blood trail down there. Where does that blood trail lead? 
is there more blood over here? I think I've already been this way and no it didn't. Ah, ooh. Yes, yeah, so I like to say a lot of this episode is just gonna be a lot of running around and me chatting pointlessly. In Edo, Japan, traditional men's garments had no You can also learn quite a bit, assuming all of this ac information is accurate, which I, I don't know and I can't really... I could go and check, but I'm not going to check in the middle of the video and I'll have forgotten by the time I finish the video. Um, I'm presuming that you could learn a lot about Japanese history, culture and society by playing this game. Of course, saying that, I also used to wonder if the Uncharted series accurately represented the cultures who Nathan Drake was raiding and then I played the game where they went to England and it looked like an episode of EastEnders or Doctor Frickin' Who. So, you know, maybe games are not the best source of your historical um, knowledge. I am the Salvage Queen. All bow before me. So I think the shant I think the shanty town is unique in that it's one of the few locations in the game that's kind of broken up into two bits. So there's shanty town one and shanty town two because it's such a sort of big location, which I think is really quite funny because obviously, in terms of the big show-stopping moments from the game that everyone remembers, the shanty town is probably the least memorable section. Um, but it it is the biggest and it and it has the most stuff in it. So, I don't know, I find that funny. And up we go. So I should... Ooh, looking at this, there should be somewhere a thing for me to lodge my um, rope arrows into. But I don't know where that would be. Something down there I can do it on? I see... nothing. Okay. That was a waste of time. More shotgun shells. It is nice that this is such a... <laughs> ammo rich. Ooh! I've just started on another challenge, apparently. It is nice that this is such an ammo rich environment, because obviously I've just used up every single bullet that I had in that frickin' firefight. Crunch. Can I jump there? Will it kill her? Probably it would kill her, so I'm going to instead drop down here. Yes, there we go. There's probably even better ways to do that, but sod it. And I think this is where I actually... Yeah, this is where I came into the town. So, I've kind of made my way back to where I started. Um, don't want to go through there again, because there's nothing through there. That's just really creepy. Um, doo -doo -doo. So I think I'm out of options except to get into the big gunfight that they want me to get into. So I'm going to go and do that now. Get up, you silly girl. There we go. Yeah, so it's if I go much further this way, and you can see where all the, like, the barrels and the cover is. That's where uh, there's a big gunfight going to take place. Partly for me, this is just a Pavlovian thing at this point. I see something that's like glowy and looks like I can shoot it, and I just... You know, why? How could you stop yourself from, from shooting it? Red rag to a bull. Doing a lot of jumping around. I, say, I, I always find the controls for this game actually quite um, sort of fun and intuitive. I at least always just found it very easy to do what I wanted to do in this game. Which, like I say, has not always been the case for Lara Croft games in general, so it's nice that this one sort of subverted that tradition a little bit by having halfway decent controls that allowed you con to control Lara. Not that the old controls weren't good for their day, it's just that they, when you go back and replay it, they are very of their day. Like, I, um, 
went back and replayed Tomb Raider 2 quite recently and oh my god the controls in that game are abysmal in comparison you know for the time I remember playing Tomb Raider 2 when I was like 8 and the controls then were just amazing but now ooh is this a thing I can do stuff with? Can I pull this? Oh, cool. Oh, and there's another challenge. Oh, good. <laughs> Just what I wanted to give myself. And what's that? Oh, well, this first, obviously, is a... Um, I can do this with. And that gives me more salvage. There's so much stuff in this place. More salvage. I won't be satisfied until I'm fully, fully loaded with salvage. Go up here. And I can't jump across there because that's where I came in. But I can go back down here. Oh, the ability to change your direction in mid-air in video games will stop being funny. Oh god. It's the fly buzzing noise. That's what does it for me. This might be Yuan Dynasty. Could it be from Kubla Khan's lost fleet? Oh wait, it's a fake. Made in China. <laughs> <laughs> Just another thing I loved about the relics is that they, they did that like it's not like every single thing you find turns out to have been, you know, the lost scabbard of Excalibur. They really did kind of like some of this stuff is just... Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Yes, I am armed. Oh, get you, get the rifle out. Get the rifle out and switch to the other shoulder. Yep, there we go. Oh, that is a much better rifle. This is quite the ambush. They are really determined and it's really starting to irritate me. Take that in the face. Okay, come on. Out you get. Oh! I think that crate was actually dangling, and I think the explosion of the, uh... Die. I think when I blew up that gas canister, it sent the, uh, the crate down. <laughs> right, is everybody dead again? Where are they getting all these men from? How many freaking shipwrecks have there been in this area which have yielded men willing to join these people? Like, seriously, at this point. I mean, I get that you've got to have enemies in games like this, but really, come on. Couldn't have thrown, like, some more wolves in or something like that. Something that, you know, makes a bit more sense to be in the area. Okay, so I've been through there. Nothing to do through there. Nothing to do up there. Which means that it's just the secret tomb. Another sacrifice. My god, what's driven them to this? Oh, are those the... Are these the other women that were sacrificed to the Sun Queen? Oh, that's twisted. Ugh. That's weird. They just left them. And what does that say? She will rise again. Oh, good. That was just what I needed. More of those... Ha! <laughs> More creepy goddamn wall writing. 
See, that was something that these go the uh, the developers could have done if they'd wanted to be real douches. Then they would have um, had you get ambushed in like the second to last secret tomb or something. Like you're all the way through the game and the secret tombs are safe, and then suddenly one of them isn't. But then, like after that, it doesn't happen again, and just that really freaks you out for the whole rest of the game. <laughs> Okay, that sets that alight. I think I'm just... Okay. So I'm going to do this secret tomb. And that's probably where I'm going to leave this episode. So it's going to be a nice short episode, I think. Wow. Okay, so this is something I can throw, so get that up there. Okay, and that brings that down. But first, let me just... So, again, I'm just going to keep upgrading the rifle, so the rifle is at 100%. So, that's all the rifle that I can do, which leaves me with just the shotgun. So, okay, where am I trying to get this, basically, is my question. How low do I want this? Uh, let's get one there. Another, another one here. Clearly, I want it quite low, I think, because... Am I trying to get to... Oh. Okay, so three, and it goes right to the floor, but I clearly don't want it to do three because I want to get up there with it. So do I maybe get that over there? So if I sprint, or run as fast as Lara can run in this game, I should make it to... Yep. There we go. Up you get, and straight away, missed. Get down here. Well, that was useless. But I think I've got the... I know what I'm supposed to do, at least. Throw that up there. I can presumably get it on the downswing as well if I hadn't done that and I'm a complete idiot. Oop. Jumps too soon. But if I don't get it again, then I can maybe get it on the downswing. Yeah, I don't need survival instincts. I know what I'm doing. It's just the actual doing of it that's causing the trouble. Oh, piss it. Get ready for another failure montage, folks. Ban them up! Haha! <laughs> Don't know if I'll turn that into a montage or not. Yes, there are study in contrasts, much like how they also mass murder people. Slight gasp. Gasp of awe. Reminds me of my favourite moment from, uh. The Mummy. Um because there's a great moment with the subtitles of The Mummy. What the hell just happened to me? There's a great moment in the subtitles of The Mummy where um, uh, Rick meets Imhotep for the first time, and Imhotep screams at him, and the subtitles, at least on the version that I had, said uh, Imhotep's was supernatural roar, and then uh, to which Rick's response was macho roar, which just always made me laugh. Scavenging gets me extra ammunition, orientation, find hidden rewards, hunter gets me max ammo, and I'm going to get max ammo next. Just lets me carry more stuff. Lovely shot of Lara's posterior there. Don't know quite why that was necessary. And more gear, which means that I'm going to be able to do something on the shotgun. So, full choke gives a longer range. Barrel shroud does damage. 
polished bolt does firing rate increase, and padded grip does reduced weapon quick. So it's got to be range or damage. I think it's going to be damage just because I'm not using it at range. I don't need more ammo, and I don't need less kick, honestly. I'm, not, I'm only using it as like a last resort. They are next to me weapon, so I want it to kill them quick. Okay, so that's going to do it for this episode. Um, as always, hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you at the next one. Ta-ta!